The show's continuing coverage of Eastern now, League Baseball is on the air. Tonight it's the first of four Akron between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond Ducks. and the Akron Rubber Ducks. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Elmer Ramirez, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season, and I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that, and hopefully he gets Let's off to a ball. good start. Now it's a play. Jim Casey. Batting He'll good. swing it from the left, the left side field. right here. And this is yeah. the side of the plate this guy Casey. loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left handed, hitting against right handed pitching. Now a check right. swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the All home right. plate umpire. Bases are empty, one man out. This is line to left. A dive, but it's off his glove. He's around first, heading for two. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, unfortunately, being close isn't quite good enough most of the time. Love the effort in the outfield, and he was close to making that play, but instead it's a double. That's a risky play, though. Could have been a lot worse than a double. So striding in, Ryan Flaherty. And good. as you can see, he's the seen that baseman. average climb the last Flyer. week or so. Flaherty. The 2-2. Two -two. He right. swung on and missed strike three. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the that ball. What does he do? He comes that's back with a better pitch Dan. and gets the punch out. Butcher. Digging in, Dan Butcher. And we'll see if he can get out of this little dry spell he's stuck in. Not much offensively coming from him lately. Here's the 3 0. And now the runner slides third. Pitch taken for ball four. The throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Settling in now, Dwayne Anderson as we take a look at the splits between Dwayne April and May. Anderson. Runners at the corners, two men out. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Fielded cleanly. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We've played two full. Richmond leads this one one to nothing. Stepping into the box, Jim Casey. He'll try to follow up the double in his yeah. last at-bat with another Casey. big hit right here. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Oh. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Hit in the air to center field. Pollard sprinting after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning.
Digging in. Jim Casey. Now he back. flew out in West his field. last at bat. Yeah. Casey. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time, it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Oh, and they've got him picked off. And they've got the runner hung up between first and second. And a mistake here as he's tagged out in no man's. Ball four, take the ball. He's out. Three. Into the box now, Edgar now Castro. Back. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Castro. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. Casey moves over. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. The Squirrels lead it 2-1. to one. Ioannis Your Pena takes please. the ball now in inning number now, 9, looking Richmond. to close the door. Number 22, Ioannis Pena. Jim Casey will be the first one Leading to greet up. him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Jim Casey. Here comes the first pitch. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. The 1-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Pena. A 25-year-old enters the day in third place among closers in all-star fan voting, so it remains to be seen if he gets his invite to this year's festivities. Oh. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote, and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the Midsummer Classic. Now the 2-1 pitch will oh, not catch the zone, ball three. And this is taken for ball four. So just like that, the tying runs aboard to start the home half. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Now batting. The third Ready baseman. for another chance. Flyer. Ryan Flaherty. He'll be Flaherty. looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Oh. Pitch misses low. The throw down. No. Not in time. He's in there at second. 90 feet is a big deal when you're talking about a one-run game, so that's a little risky. But, hey, sometimes you have to be aggressive and force the other team to stop you. Casey leads off second with nobody out. Runners on his way to third. Hold it right there. Get back up the, the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And they've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 two -two ball game. Boy, d -Row, talk about definition of clutch coming up in the ninth and delivering a game-tying RBI base hit. Yeah, what a huge at-bat right there. As a former offensive player, these are the moments you live for. Runners in scoring position. Three. Out. He's out. Full four. Take the base. Out. Three. Ball four. Take the base. It was mostly pitching and defense in this one, but the man you see here made some noise with the bat, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. 
Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. Four to two, the final score tonight. Geronimo Dominguez wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And You're for more, click over to theshownation.com. First for the victorious Rubber Ducks, four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. The game's future stars are on and display now, as minor league up. baseball comes your, your way on the Akron show. Tonight it's game Rubber three of this four-game set between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Akron Rubber Ducks. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Douglas Shinjo, the Japanese left-hander, is tasked with the starting job. Dan, any thoughts? Well, Matt, this guy's one of those pitch-to-contact kind of guys. You're not going to see a bundle of strikeouts, not an overpowering guy. Puts the ball on the in and outside corners, up and down in the strike zone. Ow. Ow. That's ball four. Three. Coming to the plate now, Jim Batting Casey. Four. And he could the give his guys fielder. an early lead if he yeah. can come through here. Casey. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch now a ball hit in the air but in play perhaps down the line and they can't run it down here's the 0 one and a check swing here they'll appeal it down to third no swing says Woody Keller it's ball one I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a liner. Make the turn, make the turn. Stand up right here. Stand up. Bring it down. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there. But you have to hold there, D-Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. Good. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's Flyer. the way the game's played. Flaherty. Popped him up. All right, halfway, halfway. Castro is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Matty, this team has high batting averages up and down the lineup. Just great approaches, consistent ABs from top to bottom, and that's the reason they've been so successful this year. Now at the plate, Dwayne Anderson, as that he'll get it. his first opportunity in this baseman, one. Dwayne Anderson. Runners on the move for second. Stand Swing up, a stand up. Liner. Barehanded at his ankle. He is out. And ending in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show.
stepping up to the plate, Joaquin Montañez. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Casey has a read on it, one away. Play ball. Standing in, number 14. Now for one here in the early number going. 14. The 0 2. Hit high and deep to left field. Casey going back on it. One, one, one. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number two for him on the year, as it's now a three-nothing ball game. As we take a look at the pitch location here, you can see that the pitch wasn't even in the strike zone, but clearly that didn't matter. Play ball. So digging in now, now Jim back. Casey, he singled his last yeah. time up. Yeah, and they take another Casey. single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. From the stretch. Now a curveball that misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Big swing and a miss at the changeup. A ball and a strike. This is the stuff that infuriates a manager. You have to think the game. You got to know he's trying to pitch around you. You cannot swing at that pitch as his own. Count is one and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Softly hit here to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hits, and that's exactly what that was. Soft liner into left field. Nice job. So coming to the plate, Ryan Flaherty. And he's got runners at the corners seven. here with only one gun. Ryan Flaherty. The one two is looked at for ball number two. All right. No more hope and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Runners going. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. On he can't track it down as this ball falls. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a three to one ball game. Ready now, Dwayne Anderson. Now back, for one for him here in this one. Dwayne Anderson. Now, all right, hold on, on, hold on right there. Oh, and he oh, can't pick it up hey. cleanly. Hey, he got it straight. Reminded me of an old Vladimir Guerrero right there. The ability to nail a bad pitch consistently. Digging in to try it again. Now Andres Valentin right as he'll look Andres. to bring home that tying run Valentin. from second with a base hit into the outfield. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works.
Striding in, Alfredo De Los Santos. He looked to bounce Catch back it. after striking Alfredo. out his last time up. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Casey. And that ends the inning. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Rubber Ducks lead it six to three. Now batting, Jim Casey. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the now mound would like to hit the rewind field. button on that yeah. last inning. Oh, no doubt Casey. about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope, Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. Well, 2 0 now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. Here he comes on 2 0. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Pollard is in pursuit. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Play ball. Ow. Ow. He's out. Ow. Got it. Three. Three. Ow. Full four. Take the break. Ball four. Take the break. Stepping in, Jim Casey is now looking for hit number Let's three see. here in this at bat. Yeah. Casey. He's set. Here it comes. And that misses for ball one. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2 and 0 oh now. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Two and oh count. Here it comes. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Hey, that's got to throw the batter's game plan off a little bit. He thinks sinker's coming. Double play situation. He gets the ordinary fastball. He's got to be thinking what's coming next. Line toward the gap in left center. And they'll extend their lead even Go further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 7-3 to three ball game. He doubled up on the heater right there. First one, he blew right by him. Second one, timing was on point. And he was able to get a hit. Striding into the box, Ryan now Flaherty. Back. And they're runners base. at the corners now. Ryan Flaherty. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. And they'll Let's tag him out. He's out. Stepping up now, Jim now Casey. Left he came fielder. through with an RBI yeah. single in his last at bat. Casey. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And he takes Come a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly okay. behind the plate. And he will make it back to third safely as he didn't have much of a chance at advancing that time. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two two strikes. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. 
This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. 3-2, and two, full count. On the bag, pick up the ball. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? Oh, he spoke too soon. He beats it out at first. And yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Stepping into the box, Ryan Flaherty. He's looking to deliver seven. here with the bases loaded Ryan. and two out in the inning. Flaherty. Looking to minimize the damage here. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Digging in and looking for more, Dwayne Anderson. He's two for four in the ball game. Dwayne Anderson. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. One and two. The one two on the ground to the right side and that's through into right field for a base hit and they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score and he'll try to get back now but it's not going to work the throw hangs him out to dry and that'll end the inning. At the plate, Andres Escobar. The batter, the third baseman, Andres Escobar. Here's the 2-2. This is in the air out to left field. Casey is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Let's play ball. Ow. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Sean field, Pollard. Sean. Power. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. He brings it in, and they are back in the win column again. And they take game three of the series, and the ball game is over. Well, the guy was cast in the third inning when they posted a bunch of runs. After that, they did everything they had to just to wrap up this victory. 12 to 4 is the final in this game. The Rubber Ducks get their division leading 30th win of the year. Douglas Shinjo earns his fifth winner of the year. Hans Pagan struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. Geronimo Dominguez takes the rare three-inning save, his first of the year. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Time for minor league baseball here now, on the show as we set our sights on the Double A Eastern League. A Memorial Day get together for you here at the ballpark between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Akron Rubber Ducks. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Adrian Franco will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out at me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he... Ball four, take your base. He's out. You're out. Three. Ball four, take your base. Digging in, Jim Batting Casey, four. as he'll look Don't to bring home field. that tying run from second yeah. with a base hit into the outfield. Casey. 
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. That's popped up. All right, he's up. He's up. And no one can get there as it falls. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping Batting his fit. bat in his zone the and giving field. himself a chance much Wait. longer than the average ball no. player. And this is on, on the ground to first. Get down. Get Could down. be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this. Standing in, Elvis Gomez hitting come. just a bit over the, the Mendoza field. line on Elvis. the year. Gomez. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Dude, Casey dude, dude. is after it. He's there and records the first out. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be. Now in the box, Gustavo Rivera. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Gustavo. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lifted the other way to left center. Casey comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Play ball. He's out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jim Casey. He reached on a single in his yeah. first try. Yeah, Matt, Casey. he pressures off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Hey, that's a huge pitch right there. You've got to get ahead. When you start to see traffic on the base pass, your defense starts to tighten up a little bit. The Hold best right thing there. to do Hold right is there. pound the zone and get ahead 0-1. One. one there, and the return throw is wide and not in time as it pulled him off the bag, and they'll settle for just the one. Coming to the plate now, the right Wade Number Jones. 30. and He could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. A dive, but he's back. Runners on first and third, two away. He's running. Strike called. Now the throw down. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying. Ready for another shot now. Andres now Escobar. He singled in two trips to Andres. the plate thus far. Escobar. Fly ball to straightaway left. Three, Casey three, three. has a beat on it. One down. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Riding in once again, Edgar Castro. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners Edgar. on base and two gone Castro. here in the fifth. The 0 1 offering. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Home half of the fifth coming up, all tied at 1 and 1. So here's the cleanup hitter, the Jim Casey, the a hit field. in two tries so yeah. far. Casey. He's set and the pitch. The oh, fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Hit on the ground to short. He's got it. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no air. 
In now, Elvis Gomez. He now got on it. top of one and was a ground out victim last Elvis. time. Gomez. The 1 1 home. Runners off for second. In the air now, out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Your attention, please. Leading off the inning, Edward Harrell. And Leading they'll off. need him to get something Let's going here. This thing's Edward. far from over, even Harrell. though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an This is hit high and deep out to left. Casey ranging back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Oh, and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. My ball. Three. Out. Out. Three. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jim Casey. He'll swing it from the left side right yeah. here. And this is the side Casey. of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Plays off the slider, and it's 1-1. One one. And he misses two and one. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager is planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. And all they look to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg, and that is his plant leg, which is always a concern, but from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Stepping in, Wade Jones. The right fielder, number 13. Wade Jones. From the stretch, the one-two. Line drive to left. Castro is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. In a close game like this, you look for that one guy who produced when it mattered most, and this is the guy. He's our tops player of the game. He was one of a few guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits. He helped propel his team to a hard-fought win. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation now, of Minor League Baseball. Bowie. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Tom Roberts, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Play ball. Out. Three. That's ball four. Now at the plate, James batting Chu. Four. He'll get to take his the first catcher. cuts here. Jay. The 0 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. He's coming. Relay, relay, relay. Catch is made. 
Runner tagging from third. Relay, 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 four. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Always productive to score runs when you can, and that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Three. Digging in the switch hitter, Jim Casey. Couple of hits for him in four trips yeah. in yesterday's game. Casey. Here's a drive out toward left go center two, field. Go two, go two, go Legs churning, he's headed for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. So striding forward now, Ryan that Flaherty, extent. hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of seven. hits, including a home Ryan. run yesterday. Flaherty. He's ready. Now the payoff come on, pitch. Come on, come on, come Smoke on. toward the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. The throw home. And he will slide across with their first run of the game as it's now 4-1. Good job. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive side and the offensive side, to send him, and the outfielder made a strong, accurate throw, but that runner was safe. No doubt about it, that's one. Out, out, out. Three, he's out. Trying to pick things up where yeah, we left off. The Jim left Casey, as he'll yeah. look to bring home that tying Casey. run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Zero. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Villalobos on second. Jones is over at first with one away. Line hard to center field. And that is down for extra right, bases as this will get one home and maybe two. Villalobos blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And he's safe at the play. It's a 4-4 game. Hey, and he'll get in there run. safely. Good job. He squared up on that. Play. Well, last time this guy had some success, but he can't seem to get it going here. In fact, he's given up more hits in this one than he did his entire last outing. And we're only in the third inning. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Flaherty. He singled his last seven. time up. Ryan Flaherty. Soft liner to the right side. Spin throw, and there are two away now. At the plate, Dan Butcher. Now runner in scoring Butcher. position with Sugan. Yeah. Two and two. Butcher. Here it is. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rubber Ducks lead this one five to four. So stepping in, Jim now Casey. Batting. He drove in two with a double in his last yeah. at bat. Well, he got a Casey. good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Well, they've been treating him like a punching bag out there. As we take a look at the line, you can see that he's given up double-digit hits, and things don't look like they're going to get any better. He might not last much longer. The third baseman, number Digging seven. in, Ryan Flaherty. Ryan he got on top Flaherty. of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Line toward the gap in left center, and that'll get down for a base hit. In order to play at this level, you got to have unbelievable hand-eye coordination. And that pitch wasn't even in the zone, and he was able to get perfect wood on that baseball. Now with the plate, Dan Butcher. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, yeah Maddie, and hopefully Butcher. he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets to two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play.
He's set. Here's the 3-0. And the runner's breaking for third. And he misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. Wow. I'm not sure what they were afraid of in this at bat. The count moved to three and two. Now and batting. they didn't even the challenge him there. I can understand Way. being careful with some hitters. But not that guy. He'll happily take the walk. The one two hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Springer has a read on it. He's got it and there are two down now. And even with two outs now they decide to hold that runner at third. Now batting. digging in once the again captain. Stephen Shin. Steven. Ready on 0 2. The runner's breaking for home and he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and into the box, Manny Campos. The third baseman, Manny Campos. This is hit high and deep out to left. Casey ranging back, one, one, still one. going back. Go crazy, folks, go crazy. It's a home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Third home run for him on the year as they move out in front seven to six. Hey, when you hit a blast like that, it just shows you this kid might live up to the hype. I know he's only in double A ball, but with a swing like that, he's got a chance to be a big time player in the show. Let's play ball. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Scotty Springer. Scotty Springer. The 2 2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Casey is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Play ball. Your attention, please. Leading off the inning, Jim Casey, as they'll look Leading to get something going Anthony. here and even this the game up. Leader. This thing's far Casey. from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. That's lifted the other way out to left, and that's going to be a base hit. So the possible tying run is aboard here to start the seventh. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'll be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now, now Ryan Flaherty. And he does so representing Ryan. the possible go-ahead run. The 3-1. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Ready once again, Dan now Butcher. Batting. The shortstop. Dan Butcher. Now both On runners back, are breaking. Pick it up, pick Pitch it up. inside the throw. Yeah. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Drilled to the right side. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And that'll plate right the there. tying oh, run from third as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. You know, d -Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got...
striding in and working now on a batting. terrific performance in this one, Jim yeah. Casey. And we'll Casey. see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. Oh. Pitch out, nothing doing. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. The second for one, on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Digging in now, Ryan Flaherty. He's two for three and looking for more here. Flaherty. The 3-0 pitch. And there he goes towards second. But he won't have to worry about a throw. Ball four. First and second now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. The shortstop. Dan. Butcher. Oh, one, one. On the now back, the on the back, right here, on here. the back. In there, now the throw. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. 9-7, to seven, the final score in this ballgame. Akron jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Mike Rios gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Jim Valenzuela records the save, his first of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. For the Rubber Ducks, nine runs, 16 hits, no errors, they left 12 men on base. The show's continuing coverage of Eastern and League Baseball is on the air Rui. today. Getaway day Bay here in this three-game series between the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. Bowie attempt to end a six-game losing streak. Next. Number 59 will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around. Line towards center field. Viegas is there, two gone. Play ball. Three. Now to the plate, Maury Del Carmen, as he'll get his first That's opportunity in this one. Maury Del Carmen. And he popped him up. Butcher onto the grass. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So only one hit in the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Jim now Casey, batting. as the switch the hitter will take his cuts yeah. left handed here. Casey. Really doesn't matter what side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right handed pitching very well, swinging left handed, and swinging from the right side against lefties. The numbers are quite the same. This guy okay. flat out can hit from either side. And he's safe. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Just classic confidence at the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. The third base Now at the plate, Ryan Flaherty, as Ryan he's got a chance to tie Flaherty. this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And he looks at one that misses ball four. So that'll load him up. But at least the double play is in order here with one away. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Now batting. At the plate, Dan the Butcher. He's 0 Dan for 1 thus far. Butcher.
slowly on the bag on the bag on the bag two there's one but the return right. throw will be too late and the run is in to score on to first but not in time he beats it out to keep the inning alive and the run is in to score look like that might be an inning ending double play off the bat but that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first keeps the inning alive and more importantly he gets an RBI because of it settling in now Dwayne Anderson now two men on Second two away defense. here in the fourth Dwayne runners Anderson. at the corners two men out throw over to first but the runners back easily but he's safe at third as he's able to scramble back Ready with the 0-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Sheehan is there, and the side is retired. So one run, one hit, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, all tied at 1-1. One and one. Stepping into the box, James Chu. Both for one for him here in this hey. one. Two out, nobody Chu. on. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Casey on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So they go down without a whimper. So striding in, Jim now Casey, back. he Let's singled his last time up. Yeah, yeah Matt, he pressure's off Casey. right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. But there to take this one is the second. Ball four, take it in. So a big moment here and standing in, Jim Casey, yeah. but a single here could Casey. reduce the deficit to only one. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Almost big trouble there, but a wind up stranding two as the side is retired. Digging in, Russell Buell. Now he got Matty. on top of one and was a ground out victim Russell. last time. Yeah, Matty, expect Buell. this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no put away pitch, works to count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. Play ball. That's ball four. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The Bowie Bay Sox used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. This prospect has become the object of a notable sport. However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading in of a longtime trusted mentor for a corporate wheeler dealer can feel like a scary step. But a fledgling must leave the nest, for a big world awaits.